Action is unfortunately not very good. In so many ways, this is not good. Including the fact that the weather is, uh, ground is predicted to be frozen next year on account of the clouds. Ah, <sighs> wow. When the situation is bad, I have no choice but to attack. This is why I love the 88 gun. Switch mode. And I can still devastate the Soviets. In bad weather like this, it is important to maximize mass attack bonuses as much as possible. With mass attack bonuses, all things are possible. Right. I think this position can be forced to surrender. I think. Ah, so the Kyusha rocket there. Yeah, that's not so good. This is another reason why bad weather is so terrible. Not only does it rob my units of initiative, Alright, at least I have an opportunity to kill the Katyusha rocket. Consider that the much worst enemy. I think it maybe not. Attack plus one hero, that's pretty good. Alright, next, this position can be forced to surrender. And the manner of doing so... ...can work like this. Attack plus two hero, that's good. There's no rush to kill the anti-aircraft gun in this weather. I'm going to transfer this infantry to the north. Oh, it's low on fuel, better resupply. I guess I'll transfer this infantry to the north. I want to set preparations to take that hex. I have to take it by turn 19 to get the bonus unit. Yep. This is one of these units that I can withdraw to safety. Yeah. 
This is my favorite arrangement of defenses, but it's going to have to do. Next turn, the weather is predicted to clear up, so let's start moving units out into favorable locations to scout. Recon unit of experience can be quite tough to attack. On the other hand, the SU-85 is a pain. The weather is improved, and there's the KV-85, so that's good. First, let's deal with I should use Panzer Four, then that unit is extraordinarily vulnerable. to heavily infantry. Then, what I need to deal with the KV-85 is to maximize mass attack bonuses. Hmm, what else do I have? Well, there's a good opportunity for sister- oh, that unit has entrenchment of four, never mind. After weakening it, okay, let's see, how's my initiative advantage? Massive, but it could stand to be a little better. Or I guess I could just bombard it. What I want to do now is to start securing the, p the southern path, which I will use to escape. Uh, Hmm. Why don't we just use a recon unit? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. With my massive initiative advantage, this unit is no match for me. There are no Soviet units lurking in the fog there. I think it is imperative that I start to seize control of these victory hexes, uh, these the city as soon as possible. It's going to be a little tricky to pull it off, though. Let's see. I have a panther in that sector. Send the panther around the flank. Eighty-eight 
gun still got it. Is there another anti-tank gun here? Apparently the answer is yes. I don't want this unit getting attacked too much, so... We'll finish off the remaining Soviet units next turn. Oh, well, or I could use a strategic bomber. Start moving my forces out. I am 90% sure there is no Soviet infantry, but... Why take that sort of risk? The escape begins in earnest now. I'm gonna need another elite infantry, I feel, to hold the hills. Yeah. This infantry can go north to assist, but this unit will go south. That works. My, my fighters have heroes that are just too good. My Air Force is never this successful, normally. But I've never had so many good heroes in the air. It really, really works out well. Good news is the path south has been secured. Maybe I only need to deploy five fighters. Hmm. Okay, the path is perilous. And it is a bad idea to leave my units out of fuel. Very bad. I also need some forces to attack the center and seize control of this rough terrain. Plus, I do know the AI will counterattack. 
sooner rather than later. This unit is pretty beat up. I don't feel like using elite reinforcements in battle, nor do I feel like just normal reinforcing it, even though it's super cheap. Uh. Hmm. The plan here is simple. We will use an elite infantry to attack my way into the city, and then second infantry to capture the city. Once the city is captured, I'll have my bonus unit. I'll wait until the AI begins its attack from this direction. Basically, these units are, are sunk, if you would, into uh, this position. My only question is, which artillery should I leave? I need at least one. Uh, well, I can't decide right now. Hmm, both these units could use refueling, but that unit especially could use refueling. Well, then again, I might have had to use both. Ugh. Let's continue the attack. I'm not a fan of this defensive arrangement. And the final hero is defense plus two. That works out great. This is truly a super air unit. Normally the air war is so much tougher. It doesn't help that the Soviet just blundered so many units into this area. Uh, it doesn't help the Soviets, it massively helps me. No, if I want to guarantee success, I would probably reach for normal reinforcements on these units. They can gain their experience back next scenario. It's a pretty good idea. Uh, we'll leave the Wolfram in here. The unit is very vulnerable anyway to bombing attacks and whatnot. But this unit will take a long time to transfer. So neither choice is super great. Ah. Uh, Well, winning now, we have to continue the advance. Let us scout out this forward area and see what the deal is. Katayusha rocket, that's good. Let's use a fighter bomb. Now you can see I've set up my defenses in such a manner that I can put a lot of units in here. Hmm, the recon unit can certainly zip along. I want to use it to capture that hex though. Hmm, I am 90% sure that the Soviet counterattack has not begun yet from the north. So we'll move my units out pretty far. I need to start planning some entrenchments. This unit will entrench in the south. 
this unit might entrench in the north. This unit and the Tiger tank will st and the 88 gun will stay behind to defend this series of hexes to uh, was well resupply. This unit can move to the middle. Leave an artillery here too for good measure. Let's see what the AI's counter move is. Snow again. Yuck. Yosef Stalin tank. Okay. We have a battle here. Snow. Two, all right. AI's counterattack came a little faster than I expected. Naturally, some of my units will need to resupply. Hmm. This is not good. This is not good at all. This attack has caught me out of position. I don't like being caught in position. Good news is I can go ahead and prepare for the capture of that city like now and I'm going to transfer the Wolfram in south. Better transfer it this way to be safe. Well actually this is such a golden opportunity to destroy this guards unit. I have to take it. I am once again counting on the spotting rules and AI attack patterns to protect my units. They should beeline for the central victory hexes and ignore this. I, if I'm wrong, reform units will help me, but I don't think I'm wrong. Now, this Joseph Stalin tank in the bad weather does fine against my tiger. I actually still am slightly favored, but Unfortunately, uh, even without experience, this particular IS-2 is problematic. Fighting it head-on is futile, pointless. In fact, the only reasonable defense I can think of is to set up my forces on behind these hills and prepare for the uh, coming attack. I need to do this v carefully and set a cunning trap to deal with the AI forces. This unit can actually be used to escape. Hmm. There's also an attack from the south that's going to strike any time now. This is a very precarious position. All right, let me let me think. Okay, I will be the first to admit that the situation is not very favorable, but desperate times sometimes call for desperate measures. The 88 gun is not in any grave danger, being elite and over strength. I will retreat my Mountaineer 1 hex. Next, I will retreat my Tiger tank as best I can. Uh, 
along with my artillery. Recon unit Go south like so. Okay. This should lure the AI into some ambushes, hopefully. But in case that fails, you will take advantage of zone of control. This panther is somewhat vulnerable to attack, but that is okay. Let me shift this down to escape and shift this up. I'm gonna entrench this infantry here. You know, resupply. And I'm gonna have to keep pressing forward with a lot of my troops. We'll deploy two fighters in the south to see what's going on next turn. Deploy a few fighters here to see what is going on. Otherwise, we will deploy my bombers in favorable locations. Like so. This, for instance, is one of the units I want to use to escape with. It could be dangerous to move it out by itself like that though. Better refuel. Alright. Let's see how these defenses hold up. Nice cross. Tiger has done all right against the Yosasan tank. Ah, oh, there is a SU-152. That's a problem. Okay. Well, number one priority is take. It's ISU-152. Ah, oh, that's that's lovely. Well, the Yosasan tank is finished, but. That is unfortunately not the end of my problems. Looks like I'll have to capture it next turn. Oh wait! Yeah, there's no reason to attack. Okay. Okay, the situation is very critical. I've at least lured the Soviets into a sort of cauldron where, with the appropriate use of force, I can pinch off a lot of Soviet units and annihilate them. Southern Pincer seems to not be doing anything. That's good. So, let me think. The ISU. One fifty two is a big problem. How do I deal with said problem in an efficient manner? That's pretty efficient. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's that time again to think. After careful consideration, I've decided upon the following course of action. Risky series of maneuvers, but could work out well. Step 1. Move the 88 gun to attack the ISU-152 in artillery mode. Worked reasonably well. Step 2. Move this artillery over here. Step 3. Hope my elite infantry doesn't get destroyed by a guard's counterattack. Step 4. Attack. Forcing a surrender on the Josef Stalin tank, and this unit is now out of ammo. Good. Next. We will destroy this unit using my out of ammo recon unit to force to surrender. Actually, no, that's not necessary because I can do this. Beautiful. Hopefully, that's enough to surrender it. Good. Then. Destroy that. My air force is still overwhelmingly powerful, so we'll take out the KV-1C. Or at least severely weaken it. Next, I'm going to put this here to prevent the Soviet T-34 from just streaming into my rear area. Oh, this unit's out of ammo? I mean, out of fuel? I didn't notice that. That's okay, that's okay. I'm not out of ideas yet. We'll take care of this T-34 too. Right. Right. It's uh, not my favorite plan. But I guess you'll have to do. Uh, that unit's almost out of fuel. The intelligence itself is favorable, so I will continue to push out. Let's see. So that little pocket trapped and annihilated a good chunk of Soviet units, but there are Soviet guards that could potentially mess with my mountaineers. Hmm. Plus, I left this artillery unguarded. The way to deal with that is pretty simple, which is that I just just don't want to send a panther to do this, but I don't want to send this unit either. That's that's worse because T thirty four will catch me and destroy me. Uh, out of fuel. That tiger is taking quite a bit of damage, but it did its job. It bought time. It bought time. Oh, I have the stug. That could work. That could work very well. Or switch mode. And then I take advantage of the fact that AI moves the tank before the infantry. So the AI is not going to attack. That's actually a really good idea. I like that. I think that's the best choice. So my prediction is the AI will move the T-34 onto the hill, potentially. This infantry, though, is quite vulnerable. Ugh. There, there are not many good moves. Mm.
still think the best possible move is just to destroy the infantry. If I do that, I don't have to worry about any sort of counterattack. Or whatnot. Let me think. It's a reasonable course of action. Ugh, I don't want to normal reinforce that, but I may not have a choice. Okay, okay. I also want to take a look here to see what is going on. Right. Right. Want to begin the attack sooner rather than later. Ugh. Well, that's what movement heroes are for, right? Alright, this is what I decided to do. Not my favorite thing to do, but I feel it is necessary. Good. Less good. But it'll do. I'm gonna have to overstrength that back later. Uh so normal reinforce this unit to guarantee success. This T-34 is may very well shift south to try to attack it, but I'll survive. Next comes the hardest part by far. Ugh. Don't want to move there and get pounded, but I don't have a choice. No, that's not gonna work. This is gonna work though. Good. Situation in the north is pretty well handled. Transfer to Panther South. There are certainly going to be more Soviet fighters, but I don't know where they're going to attack. Oh, this unit is running low on fuel if I do that. Hmm. Very dangerous. Well, whatever. You'll be fine. Okay. Nope, that's not a good location. That's a good location. One fighter left. All right.
Good. That is a strong counterattack. All right. From one crisis into another. What a crazy match. Weakness of the Yosasan tank is its low ammo count. Take out the ammo, and the tank is irrelevant. Get the bonus unit. Hmm. Oh boy. You know what this this brings to mind? This sort of desperation. Good old fashioned Simpsons quote. I get to clove the leper. If I do this correctly, I will indeed get to clove the leper. This is still a pocket. Soviets didn't attack my Panzer IV as I thought it might. That's good. Tiger tank needs to refuel, so does this. Whoops. This unit. I still have this. But no artillery to cover it. Tons of infantry. So that's not so good. Well, I have that artillery to cover it, but. And in the south, <laughs> truly massive Soviet attack is on its way. Rough terrain in the east will prevent outflanking for a little while. But it won't last forever. There's also a Josef Stalin tank. Though I'm not too concerned about it. Just get some mass attack bonuses going, and I'll crush the Ozusan tank easily. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna pause to think now. After careful consideration, I've decided upon a well. I can only describe it as sheer insanity, because this is, this is exactly what this is, insanity. Let us begin. Step one, concentrate my air force in the north, where I don't have to run into the pesky uh, mass of Soviet troops. Step two. Weaken the Soviet tank so I can put my infantry in clear terrain without much worry. Like so. Oh boy. I mean, what sort of insanity am I getting myself caught up in? The odds are sufficiently favorable, but. Step three, destroy this T-34. While tr so this rough terrain will slow down any potential Soviet advances for a little while. That's that's the important part to remember. For a little while. At the same time, I need to put defenses here. So, 
so, you can count hexes. This T40 tank, for instance, has a move of 7. These two hills will consume 4 moves, then it gets 3 moves. That could put it in range to attack my artillery if it wants. So, one good move is that I can transfer the pan uh, Panther over. Then I can transfer this unit north, and I can transfer this unit here, and be safe from Soviet counterattacks. Next, uh, continuing the insanity. out the guards. I need to take out this particular T-34. And these infantry in the middle I'm basically going to ignore and hope the rough terrain slows them down enough so that I can counterattack them. can actually kill it. Huh. That's not good. No problem. That works. I was worried there for a second. Okay, good. Now my forces are in perfect defensive position. The main danger is neutralized. Furthermore, if I do this correctly, I can prevent that unit from resupplying altogether. But... But this is not over. Okay. Next, I need to shift some troops to hold off Soviet advances. Which means, unfortunately, I'm going to struggle a little with this Joseph Stalin tank. I think the Panthers are the best choice. They have better heart attack than the Tiger better initiative. That's what I need. Tiger and the Stug can sit here and hold off the Red Storm. Oh, but that's not necessarily good either due to that. Mm. You know what? Why am I wasting my time even attacking the Joseph Stalin tank? That's it's a pointless gesture. At the end of the day, what is that really going to accomplish? Nothing. Why would I waste time accomplishing nothing? Instead, why don't I try to accomplish something? Something worthwhile. Good. Man, I can't believe the insanity that is going on here. I just defies belief. I 
I still have to think very carefully about what I want to do. Uh, the other option is I shift this over one. I can use this unit to block if I'm truly desperate. Well, I, it would block this location. It's actually not a bad idea. It's a pretty good idea, actually. Because I don't think there are too many more Soviet air units anyway. Sure, why not? Next, it is imperative to realize that that T-70 is going to give me a lot of trouble if I leave it alive. So that's what we'll go after. Here is a way of taking advantage of zone of control rules. No worries, I had a backup plan just in case. That wasn't the perfect backup plan, but it'll do. Because then this opens me to Sending a pioneer into the urban hex. Oh, but it seems it still has spotting on me. Damn. Recon unit. Ugh. I don't like that. Hmm. Really, I didn't expect it to be that successful. All right, you know what? Panzer IV is still useful in the north. There are a lot of soft targets, but there are also a lot of soft targets in the south. Let's transfer the unit south. Same with the Grenadiers. One, two, three, four. Just for this here. My unit is very low on fuel. We'll put it here. Wait, no, we'll move it fully. That's the first unit I'll send to escape. Yeah. Then, and the remaining units will defend comfortably. Hmm, there is some infantry in there. Didn't know that. Well, I'll deal with that later. I should prevent it from resupplying to back to full. All right. Ouch. So we fired a lot of damage. Okay, bad weather again. That's not so good. And then snow again. Jeez. Ugh. All right, 
right, we have to take care of this now. There are a whole bunch of Soviet units here in the east. Potentially outflank me. Damn, I was really hoping that unit was completely blocked in. That's not good. Okay. So your forces may have outflanked me temporarily, but that's okay. Again, attacking the Yosa Solentink accomplishes nothing. I need to get my units out now. Ugh. But the mud is so bad. Nope, can't do that. that put my anti-tank gun here it's not the best arrangement but at least on defense these well I also need to deal with these guards though hmm really need to finish off the Soviets here. Really need to. See how this goes. That went well. Good. Let's see next. This will have to do. Let's hope the weather prediction is wrong. There's a 20% chance because I really need some good weather 
to take advantage of my Air Force. I guess this is a weakness of the Air Force strong strategy. You have bad weather. You also have nothing. I need to disband that unit anyway. Ugh. What am I going to do with this? I expect the Soviets to stream for these victory hexes in the back here. But the mud should slow them down somewhat. So we'll keep this infantry here. Oh, the only danger is this unit could get outflanked. We better move it north, out of the way, to safety. Well, that much was more or less expected. Stug 4 is taking a decent amount of damage, but the Yosa Stalin tank is now pretty much useless. Snow! Yay! More snow fun! Alright. Situation isn't that bad. I can do this. This unit is very low on fuel. I think that's why it can't move anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Joseph Stalin tank is useless without fuel. So, I mean without ammo. I don't even have any interest in killing it. Now, it does nothing. Next, we focus on the more critical target. There's also that T-34 that's trying to outflank me. I don't like that at all. No infantry left there. All the infantry are busy. Bah. Hmm. I need to withdraw 10 units. I have 10 units here. So that's good. It's actually taking a while to kill. Surprising while. All right. I expect that these Soviet units will start capping these victory hexes. So I don't need to kill them just yet. I just need to put my troops in position to kill them. Also, by far the most annoying unit here is the KV-1C, which I need to deal with sooner rather than later. Yeah, that'll be enough. Uh, let's see, how should I do this? I 
I better be absolutely sure. I can transfer this infantry north. Yeah, that's a good idea. But first, let's continue to send my units to escape. Hmm. Honestly, I'm in no great rush here in the north either. I don't expect that recon unit will stay put though. I think you'll start capturing flags. Yeah. Uh, let's see. In the horrible weather, I don't have too much to worry about. Keep the panther here, fueled and ready to attack as necessary. Pretty much annihilate everything here of interest. Keep some of my air units just round. There was a yak. Nine, though. All right, this should be good. Excellent. Well, Yak Nine's not there. Is a lot more T-34s than guards than I thought existed. Okay. Well. My guess is... Actually, I'm not sure. Hmm. I wouldn't mind doing this, except then the guards will attack me. Like... Uh, I don't like that. Hmm. I could also attack that, but I don't like that either. Hmm. Too bad this unit can't switch, this is why I love the ability to switch 
Whoa, it's just so useful when used correctly. All right, let me think. Soviets may buy more units here. I don't like that. Uh, I'm gonna have to pause to think a little bit. Okay, after a careful thought, I've decided that this threat of T-34s and the guards are too big to ignore. That flag has been captured, meaning there's got to be something there. Probably a guard, since half-tracks move fast. But then again, in the snow, half-tracks don't move that fast. So, I don't know. Whatever that unit is, I don't like it. I've cleared the path, defeated the southern pincer. All of that is good stuff. Uh, so that's good. We will do this, however. Even the Panzer IV can dominate in the right conditions. Hmm. This particular Tiger tank has gained some experience. Excellent. Now I want to start sending my units out to escape, but my best panzers will shift north once again. I just need 10 units, and I have 10 units here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whatever I choose should be fine. Let's try to end this as soon as possible, though. Next. I know there was a Yak-9 running around there somewhere. I'm going to send out some of my best units to block. So... This unit, for instance, will deal with this T-34. I do not want to fight the guards, so I am going to retreat this one hex south. That is a lot of Soviet guards. Ugh. Into the city I go. This Panzer IV will probably come under heavy assault, but that can't be helped. Make sure the convoy of units being withdrawn is getting plenty of escorts. Then nothing else to do but wait.
All right. My troops have finally made it. Uh, escape. One, two, three, four, ah, uh, I need one more turn, it looks like. Damn, that is unfortunate. One more turn and it's snow, too. That's just great. All right. Hmm. Uh, I do not want to fight the guards. All right. Four stat guards back. T thirty fours are weakened. As long as I'm entrenching the city, I don't think the Soviet guards will attack, unless it turns to snow, in which case they will attack. But One way I can do this is to send a sacrificial unit out for the Soviets to have fun with. It's not really good military strategy, but it's an exploit, I guess. Oh, I should avoid doing that. Don't really gain too much from doing it. Guess old habits can die hard, though. I think that's it for the Soviet fighters. 
might be wrong, but I don't think so. Let's see, what's over here? Ah, T-34. Okay then. Clear weather, and this is the last turn, so I guess I might as well withdraw as many units as I can here. Uh, there's at least 10. Okay, that's enough for decisive victory. Now I can spend my time thinking about destroying this last grouping of units. Let's see. Here we go. That should be last of the defenses, and don't have any air units that are danger. Looks like I wiped out pretty much all the Soviet units. Excellent. I even managed to capture a few. Extra flags for a bit of extra prestige. So this should be decisive victory. Uh, oh, it's irrelevant. I can enter now. Despite the horrendous weather conditions and the many turns of frozen ground, I think I did fairly well in this scenario. You got the bonus unit. A few of my units got beat up a bit, uh, including my Tiger, and there was that Panzer IV. Uh, but otherwise, I think this went very well. It's taking a bit of time to show the decisive victory screen, probably because AI is thinking where to buy units. Uh, it's pointless, but I, I guess I'm not going to stick around for that. Uh, what else is of note? Oh, decisive victory, finally. Well, AI purchased a few units to defend that position. Some units did not end up attacking. Hmm. But otherwise... Uh, very successful. I also destroyed the bulk of the Soviet forces. 
so everything worked out quite well. And even though my units took a bit of a beating, they will recover in time for the next scenario. I, I think I will choose this option, which is to reinforce the south. Uh, you fight with the Romanians initially, but I think the southern path is harder than the northern path because the second southern scenario takes place 